Hi, welcome to this video that's going to explain how to do the mat base approach note assignment pictured here. Um, if your teacher assigned you the written portion of this, it will look like this. And what you simply need to know is that R means root and A means approach. And so we're doing a pattern that is seven eighth notes of roots and one, the very last eighth note of the measure is going to be an approach. An approach is simply a note that uh, is either a half or a whole step away from the target note. Target note is the next root of the, the beginning of the next measure. So in this measure, the target note will be an F. All you have to do then is follow the instructions. The instructions for this part of it says approach from a half step below the root of the next chord. The next chord is an, is an F, and this is the note E, and so that's a half step below, so that's correct. Then when we get here, you have to do, write a series of Fs, seven Fs, and then on your last eighth note, the eight, eight, eighth, eighth note on the end of four, you write the note that is a half step below D, and so on. Here you'll write a half step below G. As you move on, you follow the instructions as they change. Approach from a whole step below. So you can see here we had to make this E into an E flat so that it would be a whole step below F. And then you just continue on like that half step from above, whole step from above. Now moving to the finale portion of the assignment. Um, here you need to, uh, you will see actually this note will not be there. Get rid of that. And <clears throat> you will see a series of, uh, of exercises here. We just have to know a few simple finale uh, moves here. You're gonna use the simple entry tool it is right here, it looks like that. You click on that and then you, this palette should appear. If it doesn't, go to the window and choose Simple Entry Palette. So again, we need to enter eighth notes. You can see, um, if I pl uh, play a little bit of this for a second, you will see what it sounds like right now. notes right here on purpose. We're missing those. You've got to fill those in. So you simply grab, uh, you, you go to the simple entry tool, you grab an eighth note, and you place it on, uh, a half step from above. So you place it above, and then you ask yourself, is, is E a half step above D or not? And quickly you'll figure out that it's a whole step above, so you need to make it an E flat, so it's a half step above. Now the quick way, you could grab this flat sign, or later on if you need a sharp, you could grab that. But a uh, nifty shortcut is to just hit the minus key. Once you, if you're highlighting the note you want to change, you hit the minus key, it will make it flat. And if you hit the sharp, key, the plus key, it will make it sharp. So now we have our note that's a half step above our target, and we're all set. Now here you need to do a half step above this note. And so you'll go through the same kind of process. And then you can listen back to what it sounds like. You get used to what that sounds like, a half step from above. Then down here you see you, uh, you have to add a few more notes in. Actually, this will not be there. It will just look like that. And so you have to put in the remaining roots, like this one seven roots, and then on your eight, eight, eighth, eighth note, which is the end of four, you're going to put in the indicated approach. And our indicated approach is a whole step from above. So first we've got to put in all our um, roots, and as you may know, I hope uh, you, if you don't know, you should definitely memorize this, that when you have an accidental in a measure, that is a sharper flat or natural written in, that accidental is good for, is active for, the rest of the measure. For example, in this measure, we've written E flat. That means all the succeeding e E's are automatically E flat. And unless you, unless you counteract that by writing a different symbol, like a natural or a sharp. So uh, when I play this back, you'll notice that you'll hear a series of E flats. They'll all be the same note. That's the rule of written music. Accidentals are good for the remaining measure, uh, notes in the measure until canceled out. 
So that's true here too. That's an A flat. So all your remaining A's that you input will automatically be A flats. Okay, now it's time to do our uh, approach note. We need to go a whole step above the next note. The note is an F, so we go to a G. We enter that, and then we ask ourselves, is G, in fact, a whole step above F? And then you can figure that out. And if it is, leave it alone. If it's not, you have to alter it. And then when you're ready, you can play it back. Now, one more uh, little tip about playback. Um, this plays back easily from the beginning of whatever uh, page you're on, but sometimes you want to play back just a measure or two. So here's a couple of cool playback shortcuts. You could go in here, open this up, and tell it to repeat from a certain uh, measure by inputting it there. But even more flexible is to just uh, get rid of the playback controls by clicking on the red button and then go to the uh, selection tool, which is this, by hitting escape a few times. That's the shortcut to get to it. And then you can highlight a measure, click on a measure once, and then do the following, spacebar plus click. And it will play back from whatever measure you're on. That's very useful. And another cool playback thing is that you can get a snapshot, audio snapshot of wherever you are by doing, putting the cursor where you want to hear and doing option plus playback. And that will just play that one beat or wherever you are, wherever the cursor is. And then you can move it along at your own pace and hear it slowly. a useful one too. That was option plus spacebar and then you can move the mouse and it will play back at the, whatever speed your hand is moving along. Okay, that's it.